Morning, everyone. Morning. Get to the nine at nine right off the bat. Let's hit it. Oh. A little song? Mm -hmm. Oh, no song? You want me to just improvise wow. one? Yeah, why don't you do yeah, that? Yeah, come on. Yeah. No, no, it's Friday. I'm hey, really don't promise that you're going to no, do something, right? and, then, and then not yeah. do it. Okay, fine. Right, Whoa, it's the oh. nine at nine. Whoa, it's the nine at nine. There you go. Yes. That was that's 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 yeah. yeah. There it's we so go. hard to keep nope, a promise. Yeah. <laughs> now read number nine. <laughs> I'm right. oh, number nine. <laughs> Snackle boxes. They are Ooh. portable tackle boxes transformed into mini charcuterie boards. Now this is a great idea. Yeah, finally. You fill them with meats, cheeses, olives, nuts, all the other little snacks you can think of. And then tackle boxes, they have those compartments, so you got room to stack little bottles of wine. There's a company that specializes in this. It's called Great Boards. And a lot of people are doing similar things on TikTok, Instagram, Pinterest, but don't you love a good charcuterie board? Well, this is great if you go, you know, on a road trip or something. Yeah, yeah that looks really camera. easy to eat in the car. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about the Oreos there with that charcuterie, but What's I mean, it does. Oreo? yeah, yeah, Oreos. Yeah. Nothing's wrong with Oreos, but in a charcuterie, I don't know. Oh, it is a good Was it a little too low brow? Mr. North Shore? He doesn't have the refined. Uh, Pepperidge Farm, the only way we can go with you. I prefer Pepperidge Farms, Nantucket, if you're going to have a cookie in there. <laughs> All right, number eight. Can you really improve on the taste of chocolate? Some scientists think so. There are flavor experts working on technology that can impact cocoa flavor on the molecular mm -hmm. level. They're taking the cocoa mm -hmm. pods. Covering them with banana and plantain leaves and drying them out in the sun longer. The result? A longer fermentation process, which can, they say can lead to richer, fruitier chocolate flavor, and it could ultimately lead to better chocolates for consumers and better prices for farmers. Well, we'll see. Okay. Hey, number seven. Everyone likes to get out in the fun and have some fun in the water, of course, this summer. Even these sea lions near Santa Barbara Island. This was filmed by Ryan Lawler of Pacific Offshore Expeditions, who are amazing guides in the waters of Southern California. Oh. So why don't we just go ahead and check sure. out these sea lions. Wow. Let's enjoy this. Oh, sweet. Look at that, nature. I just love it. Whee! Not seeing the whales that are chasing after yeah, them, which is no. good. Yeah. That would be an interesting video. What do you think, Robin? You, uh, where do you fall on the sea line? Do you, hey, you know, I'm afraid different. of them? They kill you dead? They could you coexist with one? What do you? Look, I'm never in near their habitat, so I don't think we'll ever cross paths, but right. I have no issue. They seem right. nice enough. Right. Get a little aggressive, but that, that sure looks fun. Now. Oh, you got a story, Dan? They got aggressive. No, but I mean, we had that uh, earlier this week, those <clears throat> sea lions chasing all the people off the beach. They were trying to get selfies with them. Well, oh, there, yeah. you, let me tell you something. That sea lion chasing me, I'll punch you right in the mouth. I'm not going to take any nonsense from the sea well, lion. Well, that's because you want to take a selfie everywhere you go. Yeah, so you, are, you feel animals. entitled yeah, to do that. You've seen my Instagram is nothing but selfies of me. I mean, he's in the studio every day. All Robin, just take this picture. Wait, do it again. Take right. it, wait, I got to do it again. Get a better right. angle. Do it again. Yep. I, I'm just, do a I mean, boomerang. It's a, yeah, yeah, it does the boomerang with the dress twirl. Does the dress twirl. He's great at that. But Get that's... one of those shots where I look pensive. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, that's how you've right. become an influencer, though. Yeah. That's... That's it. Yeah. Okay. Number six, would you like to see something wonderful that's going to make your day? <laughs> yes. I yeah. should. Now, just don't expect some big ending or something crazy to this. Just enjoy it for what it is. Here you go. What the? Oh. <laughs> a couple of dogs trying to <laughs> look out the window. Oh, there's four. Oh, my uh, God. Uh, come on. <laughs> oh. This is great. Oh, this is great. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> You said that well. Yeah. Yeah, just delivered. That was great. That's us. Awesome. All right. Number five. Uh, from time to time, we'll take a real uh, letter to an advice column and see if we can help. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is from Dear Carolyn. 
Incorporated here. Uh, my significant other and I, late 20s, planning on moving in together this summer after two plus years as a couple, but have not told my parents. Yes, I know we are adults, but let's just say my mother still, after 30 years of marriage, insists on making it clear that although she moved into dad's house three weeks before the wedding, he was traveling at the time, so they never lived together pre-marriage. I think this is the first major thing I'm doing that they won't 100% approve or be proud of. Hmm. What do I do? You live your life, you're yeah. an adult. Yeah. That's what you you're do. You're an adult. Yeah. You're gonna disappoint them sooner or later yeah. anyway. It's right. exactly right. it. Right. Yeah, it's you not... def yeah, it's exactly right. right. Believe me, you've disappointed them plenty of times before. They've just not told you. Yeah. And you'll do it even more again. Yeah. So just, you know, th please, don't. that's the least your worries. Right. Don't Wait worry Wait until you have kids and they spend more time with the other grandparents <laughs> than your parents. It's, it's only gonna get worse, right. so right. don't worry about that's it. That's true. That's very true. All well, right. Yeah, well, moving on to number four. Balenciaga's Le, Ca Le Cajole is the bag of the summer. Bella has one, Gigi has one, Dua Lipa oh, yeah. has one. But since most of us don't have a few thousand bucks, one of the most searched items is Balenciaga bag dupes. And believe it or not, there are lots of look-alike bags out there for under 75 bucks. We took a deep dive and found hundreds of TikTok videos featuring people showing off their own dupes. Oh. Uh, hmm. All right. Number three, competitive eating champion Joey Chestnut can tolerate just about anything. He just won his 15th title in Nathan's National Hot Dog Eating Contest. But if you really want to challenge him, give him crab cakes. He said he was entered into a crab cake eating contest, but when he got on stage, the smell overwhelmed him. Oh. The crab cakes had been sitting out for a couple oh, no, of no, hours. No, no, oh, no, 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 no. And the whole thing made him sick, and he couldn't have crab cakes for a couple of years after that. Oh, yeah, I don't know. He should have been eating those crab cakes after sitting out for no. a couple. Oh. Yeah. All right, uh, number two, get ready to laugh because researchers from the University of Warwick in the UK found the funniest words. They talked to hundreds, uh, hundreds of people and used a list of thousands of words. The funniest word of all time is booty. <laughs> it's the funniest word of all time, according to them is booty. Okay, for some other ones. Here's a quick look at a few words being rated funniest by young people. These are by young people. Uh, goatee, frock, squabble, gangster. Mm -hmm. Okay. And here are a few words rated funniest by old people. Caddy, squint, limey, and housewife. <laughs> oh, wait. I'm sorry, my stomach hurts. I'm laughing too hard. Yeah. Just give me a second. Yeah, yeah. 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 A little sarcasm there. Uh. All right, number one, uh, back in 2003 at the inaugural autism benefit called Night of Too Many Stars, a bunch of comedians joined Lou Reed on stage for the classic Walk on the Wild Side. So uh, this was all in good fun, although apparently Dana Carvey said on a recent podcast that Lou actually got in his face about how he was playing the drums during rehearsal. Check it out. And he came from out on the island in the back room, she was everybody's darling. But she never lost her head. Give her when I let her give her a hair. Hey, hey, baby, take a walk on a wild side. I said, ah! Oh, Little Joe never once gave it away.
Yeah. Huh. He's like, get me through this. Why did I agree? <laughs> and he had problems with Carvey? Uh, I don't well, know. Carvey seemed like yeah. he was fine. Yeah. I don't know he even played drums, but he That's sounded pretty, pretty good. good. That's the night at nine. <laughs>